Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you some basics about the Rescue 8 Descender. If you know what a figure 8 is, it's basically the same apparatus but with no ears. So it looks like that. This is the Rescue 8. And it makes it easier to lock off and secure your position than with a regular figure 8. Um, here's how you do it. You first connect the descender to your rope by taking a bite of rope and putting it through the bottom and then around the back. So now you have something that looks like this. And you of course need a carabiner to attach yourself to the figure eight descender. And now with this, it's very simple. You can take in slack and then hold your position. Take in slack, hold your position, or you can descend. Now, if you were ever in a position where you needed to keep that position for a while and you don't want to move, you want to make sure you don't end up having like a catastrophic failure and descend down the rope on, without wanting to, uh, you first take this end and go around the back and then do it one more time around the back and then put a bite of rope through the hole at the top and then put it around the ears and it comes out there you go now if you wanted to keep this position even more securely you can take a big bite of rope and go around once and then around a second time. So now you are very secure in order to go back to descending mode. You simply remove this half hitch and then this half hitch, take it out, bring it over the ears again, pull it through, and then round, and you're back able to descend. Now, a lot of times when people are descending, it's not like what I'm showing you on a table. You have the descender will be up, you know, you want it up even higher by your chin. You know, it's hard to show you, but you want it to be up. And I'm going to show you that orientation, but from a table point of view. Um, so all you do to extend the ascender from your position is... You take a, this is a, I think, 60 centimeter loop, and then I bring this through, and like that, and now it can be up by my face and closer where the action is, where I'm able to, you know, manipulate it better and use it better. Um, and another thing you can do is if you need an emergency break, you know, also known as a third hand, you can create one using a prusik loop like this. So you don't need a ring on it. This one just happens to have a ring on it. I'm not going to be using the ring. Okay. Of course, first, before you do this, 
you want to make sure you um, lock off so you're locked off and you form this prusik on here dressed it well tested it and then all I have to do is take this put it through the eye put it below the figure eight and make sure the go the gates are opposing so that way they don't potentially open up one another and now when you take it off if this were to you know you could have it set up where you let you let go of the you give rope to the descender by putting your fingers on the top of the coils of the prusik and you'll you know descend it's hard to do on a table I apologize but you get the picture and um, if you were to for some reason if let's say a rock hit you and you were to become unconscious if you were to hands off this prusik would catch you and keep you from falling down the rest of the rope. So this is a pretty useful and versatile method. Um, you can also tie the prusik at the top of the figure eight above it, but but the benefit of doing it this way is that because of the figure eight descender, it's taking up maybe like 70% of the load. And so this prusik is only responsible for stopping about 30%. And so it's less likely to bind and lock up than if it were to be up here, where it would be holding 100% of your weight. And that could easily jam unless it's like a VT. Even then, uh, you're taking a huge risk. Um, and again, as far as as far as which, I'm just showing you a, a you know a regular old prusik. You can use a Schwabish. Um, you can use a distal. You could use a VT um, or any of the other hitches that I have in my library um, that tickles your fancy. <laughs> so this is this has been the figure eight rescue descender and some basic material for you. If you enjoyed this, please consider hitting like or subscribing. Talk to you later.